Have you ever thought how future Finland skating will look like? Today I got in my hands the skates that are going to be the solid part of that future. So let's check them. These are power slide next. Hello YouTubers, my name is NixV and you are on the channel for those who love inline skating and want to progress in it. And here they are. Power slide, super cruiser next with 110 mm wheels. I got these skates for more than a month now and I've been skating in them all the time in all weather conditions on all the surfaces so you can see that they doesn't look like a new skates anymore. And so the time has come to share my opinion on them. Am I happy with them? Yes. Are they perfect? No. But let's start from the beginning. So the wonderful box that I've showed you in one of my previous videos includes one left skate, one right skate, one T-shaped octagon screwdriver, power slide booklet with absolutely no information on these specific skates, and few liters of fresh Chinese air. Yes, power slide next are made in PRC, People's Republic of China, and there is nothing left in the box. No heel brakes, no additional accesses or screws. But that's okay, because we can move now directly to the skates. First of all, they look great. They look different from other free skates and that's awesome. But that's not only the design, it actually comes from functionality. Let's at first look at a small new features. This imitation of salt plate. I am not an aggressive skater, so I don't know if it really works. All that I can say is that I can stay on it. If you are an aggressive inliner, write in the comments what do you think about it. Is it really useful? We also got this big slider and it's a very nice thing. You can see how I've already scratched it. I like to slide with the boot after clumsy jumps, so I can replace it in future. Also, we got here the calf mounting that could be adjusted. Some calf rockering. And that is also a great innovation. You can adjust not only the height of the boot, but also the tilt of it. It can really help to avoid corns or bruises on the ankles. And the main feature is of course Trinity mounting. It's the first hard boot skates with Trinity. These three points of mount allow boot to be closer to the wheel and to the ground correspondingly. Power slide states that with Trinity mounting the filling for 3x110 is almost the same as for 4x80. I don't think so. You can see that the difference in height is still quite big. I was skating in 4x84 rollerblade fitness skates not a long time ago, and I think that the feeling is much closer. What Trinity also gives is an enhanced power transfer. Maybe it's some kind of placebo effect, but I can really feel that the skate is a continuation of my foot. I can control the slightest movements of the blade, and that's cool. We got the aluminum frame here. It could also be adjusted a little bit, but you can move it only to the front or to the back. The length is 243 mm. That's the standard length for 4x80, for example. So you can see that there is some distance between the wheels. It affects a little such things as stair skating, for example. It becomes a little bit trickier, but not too much. And that is a standard practice for 110 three-wheelers. The frame is the same, but the wheels are bigger, what makes them less maneuverable, but more stable. At least the flat, not rocker setup. For example, it's harder to fall back on them. You have to cross that line of balance. The maneuvering on one foot is also harder, but it's stable. The situation will definitely change if you will use rocket setup with the smaller wheels on the sides or will wait for the natural rockering to appear. The center wheel becomes a one pivot point that makes them very maneuverable, but you will lose some part of stability. So it's up to you to decide what you want more. You can rotate the wheels periodically to avoid natural rockering to be more stable or otherwise wait for it to be more maneuverable. But even with the initial flat setup they are pretty agile. There are not the slalom model. 3x100 will be much better for slalom. But for urban skating they are agile enough. Slalom turns become tricky on them because the wheels gaining their speed much faster and you have to control them much more. The wheels are power slide spinner with ABEC 9 wicked bearings in them. Bearings roll good, absolutely enough for city skating. The wheels are 88A hardness and that is good for everyday skating, for making some slides, jumps and so on. I can even make a one wheel on them for a very short period of time. But they become very slippery on wet surfaces. I'm a big fan of skating during the rain, but on these wheels it was a very difficult challenge. The other thing is vibration. Harder wheels and Trinity mounting, 
transfer power better, but they also transfer back the vibrations from the road. Small obstacles could be eaten by big wheels, but don't wait that you will be skating smooth on cobblestones. That's not. You will feel it. The good thing is that big wheels roll on hard surfaces much better. The risk of stuck wheel is minimal and the flow is amazing. that big wheels make the appeal easier. You simply have to make less moves, because each stride is longer on them, and hence spending less efforts. These skates have my Fit Fat Boy liner, very comfortable liner with soft padding. I think it's even too soft. It feels more like in some fitness skates. I mean, if you want to look cool. And Power Slide Next are definitely made for those who want to look cool. You have to suffer. The way to greatness is paved with the tiles of suffering. But luckily Power Slide thought about it also. I've been using the official Power Slide size table. I've measured my foot according to the procedure also described on their website. I found out that my foot is somewhere in the middle between 40 and 43rd size. What was surprising, because I always used 42, but the measuring showed that and I've ordered 40, 41. They got the innovative my feet dual sizing. And know what? They are small. Not the tragically dramatically small, but I can feel the boot pressing with my big toe. I have to hold my toes like this. I can't show my clothes actually. Luckily, I almost don't feel it while skating. The boot is heat moldable also. I will put some tutorials on heat molding in the description. So I heat molded it at 80 degrees. I took out the insoles and now it's okay. What I really want to say is that you have to be very careful if you order by web. If you have an opportunity to try them at some store, do it. Anyway, with full fixation of a foot, I feel myself comfortable enough to perform all my usual stuff on skates and try something new. The fixation, by the way, is provided by the laces and two buckles. There are waxed laces that you can lace the boot with and then lace also the top of the liner. That gives very nice fixation. But it's very difficult to take the skate off with such a type of lacing. Or you can lace only the bottom and fix with the buckles. One heel fixation 45 degrees buckle and one on the top of the cuff. For the top fixation you will probably need to cut off that closing part of the boot, depending on your ankle size. And maybe that plastic strap also. There is one weak thing here. These buckles are fixed with only one bolt, and sometimes it goes out and it is pretty difficult to put it back. The heel buckle has a possibility of fine adjustment. But don't tighten it too much, it can cause some pain in the arch of the foot. So finally, is a very good skate with a lot of different features and some disadvantages. But know what? Disadvantages could be eliminated. Advantages will stay forever. My main feeling about that skate is that they roll. They roll great. On the grass. On gravel. On bad Will power slide next? the solid part of our future. I think yes, but there is a lot of place in our future for other brands, skates and techniques. And I hope we all will be the part of that inline skating future. So see you Don't there. forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the grey bell. I will return with new blogs, reviews and tutorials. Keep rolling!